So thank you very much for the introduction. So I'm Yosuke Toto from NTT Secure Platform Laboratories. So I'd like to talk about, about fast correlation attack revisited. So this is a joint work with Takanori Isobe, Willi Meyer, Kazuma Aoki, and Bing Chen. Okay, so first of all, this is an overview of my talk. So my talk is about fast correlation attack, which is one of the most uh, traditional cryptanalysis techniques against the symmetric key cipher. Uh, so the initial idea was proposed in 1985, and the more advanced attack strategy was proposed in uh, 1989. So I think uh, fast correlation attack is uh, one of the most oldest uh, cryptanalysis techniques against the symmetric key cipher. So now, so we revisit the fast correlation attack, and uh, we propose a new property, long key hypothesis, and a new attack framework. So our new idea exploits, uh, our new idea is very powerful when there are many linear approximate representations. So in other words, our attack is a so-called multiple linear fast correlation attack. And finally, we apply this technique to uh, modern slim cipher family, grain family, and especially, so the grain V1 and grain 128A are successful instantiation of grain family. And grain V1 was uh, one of the easily portfolio, and 128A was standardized by ISOIC. And uh, our new attack framework can break them all uh, faster than the exhaust search. Okay, so now let's start talk. So first of all, I need to explain LFSR based stream ciphers, because the uh, potential target of the fast correlation attack is LFSR-based stream cipher. So first, so this is the in, in internal state of LFSR, and the secret key and in, or initialization vectors are uh, loaded to the internal state of LFSR, and this state uh, is a secret. Then, so this state is updated by linearly by using the linear feedback polynomial F, and also it outputs uh, AT. So if we use AT as keystream directory, it uh, unfortunately such sci-fi is insecure because the keystream is uh, highly, keystream is perfectly linearly computed from the internal states. So that if we can, if we use, uh, for example, Barkamp Massey algorithm, so we can easily recover the internal states from the keystream sequence. So error sequence, ET, is very important. So by exploring ET with AT, and uh, so ZT is, uh, so secure, becomes a secure keystream sequence. But of course, now we need to discuss uh, symmetric key cipher. So that we can't choose ET from purely random. So in modern stream cipher, so we additionally prepare the another state, and this state is updated by nonlinearly involving the LFSR state. And error sequence is, uh, so outputs from the NA non another state. So now we want to attack this cipher by using correlation attack. So, but uh, there are assumptions. So we assume that the probability of ET is equal to zero minus probability of ET equal one is C. So if this cipher is purely Secure against LFS, uh, so sorry, secure against fast correlation attack. So this C must be zero. But now, so that we assume C is further from zero, then so we first guess uh, initial state ST zero, and compute AT. If we guess correct ST zero, then AT plus DT coincides with ET. So next we compute this value. So if we guess correct key, so this value follows this normal distribution, but otherwise, so it follows uh, this normal distribution. So of course, the, the means are different so that we can distinguish the correct key and the incorrect key. But of course, the uh, co correlation attack is very famous attack. So when we design uh, so modern stream cipher, so ET is not biased usually. But uh, sometimes we can observe a high bias relationship. For example, so we, we use the sum of uh, ZT plus I from 
optimally choosing uh, the set TZ, then so that we can observe the highly biased relationship with the internal state. For example, the case of grain V0, so the FSC 2006, so Barbain broke the grain V0, which was the initial version of grain V1, by using the correlation attack. So in this attack, so they use that TZ is equal to 0 and 80. So from now, so that I want to explain the procedure of fast correlation attack. So this attack consists of three parts. The first part is the generating party check equations, and second part is the reduce the size of secret bits, and finally recover the involved secret bits. Okay. So this is a high-level view of LFSL-based stream cipher. So at uh, ST and BT uh, internal state at time t for LFSR linear state and, and nonlinear state, respectively. Then ST plus 1 is generated by multiplying Z, and uh, BT plus 1 is generated from ST and BT by applying nonlinear function G, and this function also generates the key stream sequence KST. So now we first find the high bias linear trade. So this idea is almost the same as the linear cryptanalysis against uh, block ciphers. So the, we first uh, apply the zero mask for a BT and the zero mask for a BT plus 81. And uh, we find a uh, high bias linear mask, the lambda. Uh, so, and uh, this trade, uh, the, the correlation of this trade is highly biased. So in that case, we have this uh, linear approximate representations. So the most important part is to find a high bias linear mask lambda i. So once we can find these this approximations, so first, so st plus i is generated from st by linearly. So we can compute the gamma satisfying these equations. Moreover, st is also generated from s0 linearly. So we can uh, change the, this value to like this. So as the inner product, this value is a change to this inner product. So finally, we get this linear approximations. So now so the, we uh, update the t, and we can correct many these linear approximations. And by using this many, these many approximations, we recover the secret key S0. So original linear approximations is like this. So if we want to recover the S0 by using these approximations, we need to guess n bit uh, S0. So if uh, the n is greater than or equal to secret key level, a uh, secret, uh, secret key size, so this attack is always uh, was always uh, so yeah, larger than exhaust such. So first we reduce the uh, size of the secret involved uh, bits by solving a partial birthday problem. So for example, we focus these two vectors and x or as a result, this last L bits is always zero. And uh, so by, from this N, uh, back, N, N, capital N, N bit vectors, we generate this new matrix. So then, so the, we, uh, so the, instead of, to, instead of evaluating these approximations, we use these approximations. So in that case, so that we don't need to guess the last L bits of S0. So, the, uh, so only 2 to the n minus L type complexity is uh, enough to evaluate these approximations. So finally, we evaluate uh, these values and uh, recover S0 such that this value is far farthest from uh, this value. So if we use the trivial procedure, the time complexity is like this, but uh, by using fast wall shadow model transform, so the time complexity is reduced to this uh, fact this complexity. So after recovery of partial S0, so we can recover the full S0 and, the, and then B0 step by step, and finally the secret key is recovered. But this procedure has drawback, so because the correlation drops uh, because of the past uh, paradox problem. So let's see these original correlations. So but uh, by XORing two vectors, 
the correlation drops to the sheet, sheet square. So, and the, in other results, the rough estimation of required data complexity is order one over c two to the four. So, in that case, even if we can find linear approximations with correlation to two to the minus fifty, the required data is about two to the two hundred. So, if the so security level is a one hundred twenty eight bit, so it is a even if we can find such linear approximations, it is a meaningless. Okay, so from now, I propose a new insight of fast correlation attack. So in the fast correlation attack, so the, we compute this, uh, this approximations and this matrix multiplication, and S is a secret and N bit low vector, and the G to the T is the N times N binary matrix, and gamma is the optimally chosen the linear mask. Okay, so first we focus on these multiplications, and uh, we propose uh, so special. We, we propose uh, there are special structure in this multi in multiplications. So first of all, let's consider the finite field GF two to the n, where the primitive polynomial is the feedback polynomial of LFSR. And alpha is the primitive root, and the gamma over the GF2 to the n is natural conversion from the n bit vector gamma. Then we know G2 to the t times gamma over the binary matrix is natural conversion of alpha 2 to the t gamma over GF2 to the n. So in such case, of course, so the multiplication over GF2 to the n is commutative. So that we can extend the order, so the g to the t times gamma goes to alpha to the t gamma is equivalent with gamma alpha to the t, and then so we convert this matrix, this multiplication over GF to the n to the matrix multiplication, corresponding matrix multiplication. So this is a summary of uh, so transformation. So originally we compute the g to the t times gamma, but instead of this variation. We evaluate, we evaluate this multiplication where alpha two to the t is the same, alpha two to the t is the same as the first column of g to the t, and this first column is the same as the gamma. And m gamma is generated like this, so the first column is a gamma, and the second column is a gamma alpha, and gamma alpha to the t, blah, 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 so that we can generate the, this uh, binary matrix. So in, if we use this technique, so we know g to the t times gamma is a commutative. So we can change uh, this linear approximations into this linear approximations. So now we notice uh, one fact. So if parity check equations are generated from alpha to the t instead of g to the t times gamma, then if attackers guess s times m gamma, Instead of S, the approximations above hold with high probability. And now, assuming there are, may, there are many high biased linear masks like this, so all of them are highly biased. So in this procedure, we have multiple bias solutions. So now, we want to exploit uh, this fact. OK, so the originally, S prime is S, high bias, but the new fast correlation attack so S prime is S M gamma high bias. So now this is a procedure of our new algorithm. So first we generate parity check equations by using alpha to the T by correcting the N bit capital N bit key stream, key stream. So the time complexity is N. So next we pick top N P S prime whose empirical bias is high. But of course, to evaluate it, so we need uh, uh, so we need to guess n bit s prime. So the time complexity is the n to the n, even if we use the fast wall shadow mark transform. But now we exploit we use we exploit the many high bias solutions. High bias solutions. So currently we have m high bias solutions. So in that case, even if we only evaluate S prime whose LSB is always zero, so we should find M over two high bias S prime on average. So in general, so if beta bits are bypassed, so uh, we can reduce the time complexity for FHWT 
from n to the n to n minus beta times two to the n minus beta. So now we bypass beta bits. So this time complexity is reduced to like this. And finally, so we apply uh, M, M gamma I inverse uh, for uh, NP picked solutions. The time complexity is the NP times M. So the second step, so to estimate the success probability, so we use normal distribution for the second step and the Poisson distributions for the third step. So this is an example parameter. So the, LFS, the size of LFSR is 24, and uh, assuming we have the correlation uh, with 2 to the minus 10.415, and uh, assuming we have 2 to the 10 linear high bias linear masks, and now we bypass 5 bit in the first wall shadow mouse transform. Then we first correct 2 to the 23.25 uh, bits and uh, evaluate this value. So if S prime is S times M gamma I, so this value follows this normal distribution. Otherwise, so this value follows this random case, so this random normal distribution. So now we introduce a threshold here. So this is the two to the 12.68. So and uh, we pick S prime whose empirical correlations is greater than this site greater than two threshold, and the pick uh, solution, uh, the number of pick solutions is the two to the 30.28, and after that, we apply two to the 10 high bias linear masks, and uh, so we recover the secret key. So finally, so removing the uh, M gamma, so as a correct key follows the, this pro, as the number of appearance in the appearance of the correct key, follows the po this Poisson distributions, but incorrect key, so it follows this Poisson distribution. So now, uh, I implement uh, this attack to the toy grain cipher, and uh, it's a plot of the experimental results. So as a result, our experiments almost follow our theory, and uh, in this case, if we use the threshold nine, so the correct key is uh, always uh, distinguished uh, with the incorrect keys. Okay, so finally, so we apply this technique to grain uh, family. So our new idea is powerful when there are many high bias linear approximations. So if, so the importance is, uh, so grain-like ciphers has many high bias linear masks. So this is a structure of grain, and uh, this bit is a key stream sequence, and the key stream is generated from the Boolean function H. And this is an example of grain V1. So H is a Boolean function from five bit input to one bit output, and uh, H is a Boolean function like this. So if we use linear mask 00011, then so the correlation is a minus two to the minus two, and if we use 00111, for example, the, high, the co corresponding correlation is the two to the minus two. So in this example, so we know uh, two to the four uh, uh, two to the four potential, there are two to the four potential linear masks uh, with, high, high, with high correlations. And each input linear mask derives different linear approximations. So uh, in the case of grain V1, moreover, the sum of the TZ keystream bits is used. And uh, in the case of grain V1, we use TZ is like this. So the potential number of approximations is the two to the four times uh, 10 and the two to the 40 different linear approximations. But of course, so the, this is rough estimation. So the, in real, we need uh, more complicated evaluations. So actually, it is a very difficult to explain it in this short time, so the please read our paper in detail. Okay, so the, this is a conclusion and a open question. So this is a summary of our attack. So for example, so the green one to 8a, we can find two to the 
26.58 linear approximations with correlation is like this. So in this parameter, we can attack uh, this scheme with time complexity is the 2 to the 150.4, so which is uh, faster than 2 to the 128. So, but we have uh, big open questions. So yeah, actually we can break the grain 128A, but uh, the uh, target is only grain 128A without authentication mode. So if authentication mode is enabled, so only even clock outputs are used as key stream, and uh, all the clock output is used to generate the tag. In that case, so the attacker cannot observe the uh, old clock output in realistic assumption, so it is a very difficult to generate high bias linear approximations. So unfortunately, so that we cannot break a uh, grain one to eight a with uh, with authentication mode authentication. So it is so so it is an open question to break a grain one to eight a with authentication mode. Thank you very much. <laughs>